coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. The most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4 or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter, has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started Ladies with the official introduction, here is Bruce Buff. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, the Cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not fit. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Keep pushing. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee to the body. He got him. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh, 
How good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Nice. been working hard defensively, kick block there. Oh, beautiful nice. jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless, people think he's a wild man, but Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he's striking. And now he's got that tight reach. his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Just misses there with the left. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward and tries to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big punch from the clinch. They continue to exchange. Oh. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. 37 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Straight punch land. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Wow! Back to the feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, a huge block there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gaethje. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there by Gaethje. Under a minute now to go. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice straight punch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. and might as well use it. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Big, straight left. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. 15 seconds. Oh, nice knee. round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. 
Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. KG gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gaethje. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Slips the punch nicely there. There's no give on that leg. And both guys really thrown with authority. And then potentially a critical takedown here. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Gaethje. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Gaethje gets up. He is back on the feet here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been struck. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Slips the punch. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice strike landed there. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one was going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Big punch land. Ooh. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. What a fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Look at there. 
right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. Come on. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good side, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, that's a nice strike. That's a really strong leg kick there by Gaethje. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around him. Oh, he hurt him. Oh! He's hurt him. Go get him. gets up again here, but he looks good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. You gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh, in the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on two of them so far here in this room. He sets him up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and arch right through it to get the knock. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by Knockout the Cooler. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.